welcome everyone to mostly laughter, some slaughter, Lords of Chaos. Chaos. Uh, yes, chaos. Ah! <laughs> Pressure Chaos is my absolutely my favorite South Park character. <laughs> uh, so I mean, we've been talking a bit before the show, but but how's everybody doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. Doing good. good. I feel like I got my second wind finally. Cool. Yeah. I like cookies. <laughs> you like cookies. Cookies are cookies. great. That's a, that's a good. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh... I do not like any of your cookies. I don't like your cookies. Yeah, cookies. I... <laughs> Those who do not like cookies are, making a, are probably evil in some way, shape, or form. Have you tested the cookie test? <laughs> yeah, I thought the dark side had cookies. <laughs> yep. I was reminded of interest that uh, uh, when you're uh, overwhelmed by what's going on in the world, you can just think that somewhere uh, someone is uh, making warm chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. Someone somewhere. And you need to it find them. Be. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find them and trick them out of their cookies. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so easy when you're evil. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I guess the uh, sort of the first order of business is uh, we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, I guess, where the campaign is going, what tweaks we might mm -hmm. want to make to to uh, uh, sort of to help keep everybody. Uh, uh, involved and on point and everybody like excited and uh, you know mm -hmm. bought in to, to the direction yeah um, so uh, Joe you mentioned something about it feeling kind of uh, noir that would yeah. be Joe yeah yeah because what's what's happening like it's it's really interesting and and I want to start this off by saying uh, it's something that I said after the 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 first we talk <laughs> the stream cut out for a while and then came back you probably didn't see that folks you're probably seeing this you know either the twitch stream or youtube but um one of the things i said after that you know that i wanted to absolutely preface all of this with to start off with is i really enjoy the group i love how everybody in the group contributes and how they play i love how leo is running this game i don't i'm not criticized i'm even if i was criticizing i'm not um, unhappy with any of that. All of that is really great. Um, the where I'm coming at is uh, the game is kind of feeling noirish in that we've we've got these four characters. They've come to the big city. To a certain extent, they were they were kind of naive as to how the world worked, and now they're sort of being corrupted a little bit by by this organization that they've joined and I'm like mm, I don't know how far I want to go down this route how far I want to participate in this story like I on, on one hand it's really interesting because I, I I've had a lot of fun playing this character who is kind of this naive girl from a small town who is trying to figure out okay how do I I've been I've been given uh, a magic fiddle by a god. Uh, I'm now a major figure in that god's church, in in that I've got like that that church owes me like a giant favor. It's not a major figure, but a giant favor. Uh, I'm part of a thieves guild. I'm associated with an assassin. Uh, there's a subplot that I don't know if I'm ever going to get to explore. That she's probably just recently discovered that she's sadomasochistic, which is interesting. Uh so it's it's interesting to play her, but I don't know. Uh, you don't know where it's heading. I don't know where it's heading. I don't know that we're going to be able to still continue to keep these storylines together. Yeah. Because we're all kind of moving off in our own direction. So I, I guess I guess what I'm, I, you know, rather than like saying I want to change something, I guess I should ask, you know, ask questions like, 
where do we all see this game going? Do we want this to be a campaign? Do we want it to be an arc? Um, yeah, what's what's everybody's take on it? Well, one of the things you're saying that you kind of want a story, uh, like, do you want a finished story arc or just kind of have, like, work in chapters? Just kind of, because this is kind of where we're at. We're, we're, we're definitely playing this as an, like, Leo has this as an open <laughs> sandbox. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So everything we have done so far is definitely on us. <laughs> and we and that is fault. great. We are at fault. Mm-hmm. Well, for sure. Yeah, let me explain okay. how this campaign has been built for the past 20 years to kind of give you an idea of not to spoil it mm-hmm. so that you want to keep playing it, hopefully. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of like I always thought that, say, the grind of the, um, which is why I give you experience points for doing nothing, for not killing any monsters. Yeah. In 5th edition, there's no rules about me giving you experience points for, you know, yeah, running yeah. running a merchant skill, running this. Yeah. I feel that's a yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the way I feel is like, um, it's supposed to be like there's an adventure. Oh, hey, we found this chaos orb. It's a really powerful magic artifact item. We're going to find some other cool stuff. And it's above our heads because mm-hmm. we're first level. We have to go to a big city. And then now we're waiting for the wizard to be like, all right, I found the second piece of the puzzle. And so just like in any real world scenario he's not going to be like yeah i know exactly the next dungeon you're going to go to and you guys are too low level to be able to find out the information yourself in a way and i feel like that would be a grind in itself because you don't really know anybody in the city as is where he knows a lot of people and so the thing is like you got time before he comes up and says hey remember me you gave me the orb well i found Mm -hmm. the second part and then you go to that dungeon and secure. I was like, I think this is where this oh, thing. Okay. And it and then it goes from that dungeon, and then you go back to sandboxing. So you go to the dungeon, you're gone for like a month or two, and then you come back to the city and like what happened, what changed when I'm not mm-hmm. here at an adventure. So you have like a little stake in it. So when Brad comes back and mm-hmm. finds out that Maybe Stinky Feet, just to give you an example, decide to make make huge mistakes and dealt under the rug. Now Brad's got to go to Chris's character and say, hey, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got to kill your friend. Or <laughs> 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 we have, like, conflicts in, intertwined where, like, um, or Marie has got to be like, hey, I found this other cool thing. And i got to mm-hmm. go to the Barnes College. Like, yeah, man, i got to share this with you. And, like, and they see the dynamic of their characters grow and, you know, they or things that they missed because they were gone. And that way, when you leave, I have something set in place. This is what's supposed to be going down and what you guys have accomplished in your sandbox mode. So when you come back, okay, I, I make some rolls. Make some adjustments like downtime activities on the side that you guys don't know about of what happens to kind of give it a real world feel to when you come back you're like oh sh- mm-hmm. damn so my question to you joe is do you feel like we're do you feel like you're stalling is my question i did kind of have the feeling of us of us um not stalling but sort of running around like to to use a video game example i felt like we were playing GTA 5 mm-hmm. and it's like okay there's this well and, and honestly like I I did not catch the part about the chaos orb I honestly thought that what happened was we were like we have a chaos orb we could go on an adventure with it or we could just give it to somebody and go in this direction and that's kind of what we did because like nope nope <laughs> um and so, so knowing that that's actually going to come back is, is I'm actually really happy to hear that. That's cool. Um, and I did feel like 
we were kind of now all running around in the sandbox and, and all sort of going off and doing our own missions. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, because remember, the three of you still have keys. Remember? Silver, platinum. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had forgotten see, about that, too. <laughs> see, this is the problem. Um, we have been my so defense. busy with our own side stuff, we have forgotten yeah. the plotline, everybody. Not every um, that during my see, and stuff. everybody made fun of me during Storm Giant Shotgun of Jason going like, no, fuck the side quest. Screw this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. I was right. You were right. Uh, uh, no, I'd, I'd totally forgotten about that. Um, in my defense, I had that a bunch of that stuff written down on my character sheet and then Roll20 uh, erased it, so it's Roll20's yeah, fault. Yeah, what the fuck was that? I, uh, I, I'm sure yeah, there was a bunch character? more on my character sheet that, yeah. Uh, I'm guessing it was some kind of update. Point. Yeah, um, what you gotta do is your character sheet had this... I found this out when I was looking at my character last week. Your miscellaneous equipment section has to be... Adjust it back to manually, or you won't see all the notes you took. Mm. Something I found out because I was like missing half my character sheet on my, you know, special abilities and stuff. Sorry to to okay. break in for a second, but where do you do that? Yeah. Okay. And and you can also do that like in the bio and info. Yeah, go to bio. And, yeah. Yeah, do it in bio and info, and then make sure you save your bio and info, like finish editing. That's so, where well, you had to I, do it. Yeah, sure I, I, I nothing yeah, in bio and info right now. I want to yeah. show okay. everybody. I'm going to show Stingfish's character yeah. real quick. Is that okay, Chris? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and sh- you should be able to see Stingfish's character. Uh, I'm not seeing uh, it at this point. No. No. Uh, no. So let's see. Uh, ah. Can you see it now? So, no. nope. looking for missing data. Your data in the simple version that can be re-enabled from the settings gear tab of the character sheet. Under general options and then feats and traits, set the section to be simple. Yep. So, let us go to where is the gear? So, right, no one go. can see Stingfish's character? Uh-huh. Uh, I can't. Uh, I'm still looking at the uh, the map of there. Waterdeep. Is... No, I mean okay. in the uh, sidebar. For... Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I see Green it now. Enables from the settings I see it now. I'm sorry. I'm smoking crack, apparently. Where oh. is the settings? Ah, there it is. It's the tiny attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See the Frederick Vargas, Susan Vargas, uh, okay. Julian Vargas, current rank, you know. Uh-huh. And he's the drink, sewer gas. <laughs> yeah. He's got all these notes, mm-hmm. like, right there. Mm-hmm. That's another good place to put it. Mm-hmm. That way it doesn't get deleted as well. That's not that's not a good idea actually. Yeah. Um so I'm looking okay, so on the character sheet, the little note on the bottom that says go to the gear selector. Okay, I went to the gear selector. Core. And then general options, and I see that. Yeah, uh, and then feats and traits set selection to be simple, but I don't see the simple. Oh, okay. So oh you uh under there is features and traits, and then there's compendium compatible and simple. And mine doesn't come up as simple. If, if you, you click, click on where... it, 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 it should give you a, a drop down box. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, does that okay, fix and... it? And that, 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 does, uh, that... does that bring up my feats and stuff I had? Yes, it does. Hooray! It's good for me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Woof. Woof. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and remove Stingfish so that so Yay. I control it. No, I meant so only Chris can control it, so no, but nice. just to be an idea of there's other places to put the notes just in case, or you can like I have a notepad, like uh I have a my own notes here yeah. in in roll twenty, so in case someone loses it of what people have. So that that way I know you guys have the keys and stuff. Yeah, I have, uh, I have, um, do I have the key? Yeah. Did I write down my key? Uh, I don't know if I put down my key or not. Yeah, there should only be three keys, so only uh, three keys. To open the vault that holds a heart of chaos, I see that. Oh, right actually, okay. I may, maybe one of you guys took it, because here's what I have. I have what's in my account, I have my bank card, 
Uh, Book of One Thousand Provisions of Excalibur. Yep, I have that too. My Pirates for Dummies uh, booklet. Got that as well. (laughs) And my communication ring, which I have no idea what it does. Allows you to whisper between each other. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. See, I should be wearing that. Yes. You should all be wearing that. Yes. Sorry, what? You just have to be within two miles of each other, yeah. Oh. Everybody should have the communication ring. It's It's the ring the wizard gave you, so you could talk. That's right. Okay, I completely agree. We got a Batman communications device. Sure. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, I, I, have right down, I don't have any... joke about the thing. I remember it to be correctly. There were certain people, Smoke, that didn't put it on because they didn't want a wizard watching them all the time, Smoke. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you can watch us at all times? No. <laughs> I'll let someone else let me know that you can We might it. have to have a smoke intervention. <laughs> I think. Well, yeah, I mean, okay, so maybe that's something we should talk about because uh, uh, in terms I of the, like, the, the noir direction and, and the, the, you know, the corruption of ca- characters over time, smoke was already there. Like, he, he's, totally, he, he's totally down with this dark side stuff. Um, so I guess my, my, my perception of it is different. It's not like my, my character is being changed by outside events. It's, oh, he's getting an opportunity to, to, to like, uh, uh, get, uh, to, uh, find his place amongst, uh, uh, the guild and bigwigs and, 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 uh, you know, gather renown. All right. Uh, but if, if everybody else is, is like... No, this is taking me in a direction I don't want to go. Then, yeah, maybe, uh, uh, you know, maybe I should just like make a new character or something. I'd be, you know, I'd be okay with that if that's if that'll what I think make Joe's the campaign go better. Is the ruining of party cohesion, but um, if I just if putting Joe's, too, yeah. yeah, if that doesn't put words in your mouth, Joe. Yeah, it, it that's that's such a really good point because I mean. We're we're kind of already heading down the path of we're starting to mm-hmm. like look for ways to backstab each other, and like just well, as a general rule, yeah. as soon as that starts happening, I'm out. Like, no, not interested. If that's what the game is about, like if it's paranoia or if it's fiasco, that's one thing. But like in a regular campaign game, if we're starting to do that, like mm, nope, no, nope, no, yeah. done. I'm with you. Like PvP, I don't really like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I um, will win that fight, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have the most optimized stats of us all. Well, yeah, but I none can... of us are going to come at you straight on, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even Marie is going to be like, mm, I think I'm going to get you to drink a little bit before we fight. And for my character, I think he's going to break in a couple of episodes. Because his overwhelming goal is to keep his family safe. And he considers you guys family. Mm. I don't know how he's going to respond when you guys finally officially go to contention. Right now, everybody's on the same line. And that's, like I said, off camera. My biggest and most horrible actions have always been in the name of family. Mm -hmm. In this action. Like the killing I did last week was specifically because I need to protect both you and Smoke in this situation here. And if you guys end up going in contents of each other, it's mm. great narratively, but I could see four different things happening in the process. Yeah. yeah. But, well, okay. Yeah. So, uh, with Smoke, uh, uh, like, he, you know, from his perspective, he, he certainly uh, has no intention of, uh, like, coming after the other characters or mm-hmm. even, uh, you know, to his, mi- to his mind, undermining them at all. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, there's, like, the, there's political stuff with, with Efren where he, you know, uh, uh, where uh, Strongly encouraging him to actually, uh, you know, uh, get hitched uh, would be uh, very expedient. But he, he you know, uh, uh, he wouldn't go to violence to try and cause that. And as a player, I, you know, I'm happy to uh, 
uh, anytime something like that could come up, I'm happy to to go to uh, sort of director stance and make sure and uh, you know make sure that the the character doesn't do something that's going to screw up uh, you know yes. uh, group cohesion. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a group cohesion. You want to torture Efren? Torture Efren as much as you want. That's fine. I'm having I'm having fun with Efren being kind of a whipping boy and like trying to play through it. <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> I, I, I'm I, I'm kind of actually enjoying kind of like you know I want to try to keep his moral center regardless of what's happening to him, and that to me is actually kind of what I'm enjoying as long as it doesn't. Uh, kind of bug uh, Joe too much, and you know, like as long as it doesn't become like nasty, 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 right? Yeah, and it can be it can be tricky sometimes to like where's the where's the line? Where's the line? Where's the line? Oh, we just stepped over the line. Yeah, considering Efron's original history of what happened to to him in when I first started uh, when I first graded him in uh, second edition. This, this is nothing. <laughs> yeah. Let's just nothing. say the previous time he played it, the fellow player he played with was a big ass douchebag, mm. and just killed me outright. Yeah, like, like well, that, that, that he was my horrible. character. So where so, is all the absolutely blunt, Efren? If you're gonna die, there's a good chance I will try to save you by nook or by crook. Mm -hmm. and, sure, and that might cause serious contention, depending on what happens. I'm yeah. fine. It could be from murder to self-sacrifice. I don't know what yet. Yeah, I'm fine. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. It, and it is kind of, it is kind of ironic that we are all protective of. We're very protective of our tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he needs adult supervision. Duh. No, I don't. Yeah. Fine. And um, I honestly don't think like. Chris or like, and also I try not to force the NPCs to like, hey, smoke. Mm -hmm. You should probably, you know, White Wolf would have probably in a real life scenario would have said, why are you following around Marie? It's like, it's like she doesn't, you know, it's like you got your head on your shoulders type of thing. Because, mm -hmm. you know, White Wolf and Smoke were getting along like, yeah. And the NPCs, I don't ever done that. I've never, I've never felt that that was a fun thing to do, is have NPCs fight for each other. The whole point is yeah. them to be a cohesive bunch. Like, yeah, you're silver rapiers, but when the silver rapiers stop being something beneficial to you to the group, you can step down. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, and like I said, I, I, I said, you know, whatever um, you want to do with that, you could have joined mm -hmm. adventures. But who knows? Yeah. And, uh, the whole scenario might have been different instead of like a, a dark path. So but... do we need to talk smoke of um, wanting to go higher up in the silver rapiers? Is this <laughs> what this is and coming down to for you, Joe? Honestly, no. No, um, okay. Like what I'm thinking now, like knowing that there's going to be like this is this is sort of the – it's, it's funny because Jason and Chris and I were talking about downtime in role-playing games just today. Like this is kind of the downtime, and this is actually a really great way to do some downtime. Uh, if it's like we're gonna go and we're gonna do this and have these intrigues, and this is sort of the thing we do while we're waiting for the next part of the adventure, yeah, then that eliminates a lot of my discomfort. Okay, because is like wherever we're going with this, this is still always going to be the um, the side story. Now. So the next question would be, is everybody cool with that? Uh, I think, like, for me personally, if it was ever to get to the point in the side stories where I'm like, ah, you know what? I feel like I got to write out Maria because I don't feel like she's got a place in the story anymore. Then I could look at that. Okay. Yeah. But I would want to do that because that's where the character goes, not not because not because of anything else. Does that make sense? No, yeah. it does. I think so. There, well, no, I mean, I understand where he's coming from because there was a, a player character like in uh, Brad's situation, Smoke, mm -hmm. uh, where he got a whole, like, he bought some inns in Waterdeep. You mm -hmm. know, after the third adventure, they came into lots of money. He's like, you know what? I'm going to buy some inns and make some money. And when he came back from the third adventure, a lot of his inns had some problems, people fighting mm -hmm. and stuff. And he's like, you know what? Me leaving is too much of a 
too much of a gamble. I put too much of my money into these ends. Mm -hmm. I'm my character is going to be like, you know what? Adventuring doesn't have the same possess because I have, I have now a, a <laughs> already got the money, and and yeah, adventuring is yeah. more likely to cause me to lose it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, so, it's the same so, thing that happened to Mayhem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Change characters. Your your experience points goes over. So like, if yeah. the, uh, next, the next character you make is going to be have the same XP, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we'll discuss like magical items you want to buy that you may want to look at in the book that you think you probably have found in your campaign. <laughs> That's perfectly okay with me. Yeah. If exactly. you feel like Marie is like Marie is not going to do this anymore. I'm going to go. Yeah. Roam the world and screw adventuring now, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Which is not which is not where I am with the character, like at all. Yeah. I'm I'm very much interested in continuing the story and I'm very much interested in continuing as part of the group. But there is kind of a weird dynamic that we all have together. Yeah. Um it is it is kind of, you know, the dysfunctional family adventuring group kind of kind of trope we're all like <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm not fond of any of you, but I'm less fond of everyone else. So. Yeah. Well, That's because sweet. you you mm -hmm. went into a dungeon together and you worked together and you like got each other's back and you trust yep. each other more than everybody else out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will tell you exactly where I stand with everybody. Smoke is the only is the only other story I've seen. That makes us automatically kin. Mm -hmm. I grew up with Efren. I was hatched near his ma. So I'm very protective of him. And you, I just plain old like. Mm. And you've been the sense of reason consistently throughout this thing. And contrary to popular belief, you've actually controlled some of my darker impulses. I would be terrified if you leave because I might go down an incredibly dark path with the other two. Mm. It's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, and we've got this. And I'm like... Um, what is I actually wrote down like the relationships that I that, that how like how Maria feels like each part of the party and it's all it's definitely all like I want to be here to to help them and to uh to keep them from getting into trouble so yeah yeah interventions yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah I think uh Smoke's take is that he he may not agree with the uh, the direction the rest of the party wants to go. Like he he, he might he, he uh, uh, might think of them as naive, but he does mm -hmm. think that they they would. But he's confident that they wouldn't betray him, and that's at least mm -hmm. very useful. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> Intervention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'll t I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> well, and and that may be. I mean, that and that's definitely a, a thing for roleplay too. Yep. Mm -hmm. You may come up to guys smoke and be like, "Hey, smoke." I feel like you yourself are going down dark path. Yeah. And we don't want you to go down, and mm -hmm. we want you to be the lovable smoke we know that you can be. And he's like, "No." I want to be <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, he becomes a reoccurring villain in this story, which hurts all the most. It's like, because sure, I'll be good, but but uh, but from a pragmatic stance, I just need to torture this one person first. <laughs> it, I wouldn't enjoy it, but it, but it needs done, and then then straight and narrow, and and then I'll be good. I promise. Yeah. Then I'll be good. Yeah. After after we burn this church down, I promise I'll be good. Yeah, because, I mean, Lords of Chaos, you're going to be dealing with magic items that may or may not be bad for certain people. Mm. I have that gun. I mean... Uh, hey, the <laughs> only time I've ever gone evil was not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like we're in a pretty good place to go okay, forward. Or we... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, how is it like? It, like how's everybody else feeling too? Like, because it's not just me. I am the one that brought it up. But my my I... my like I usually say, my memory is such a sieve that if I'm upset, it'll be out of my brain in two three days. So <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. I, yeah, it's my defense mechanism. Yeah, 
Like, and I'll I let also, you guys know with all with all is certain to do if things are not going well. That's it. I'm a hero. Yeah. <laughs> and the great irony is, I don't want money or power for this character. I really don't. Like, mm. I could give a crap about this. Want well, a fucking magical sword, bitches? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of gave it away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, I don't. I don't think Ephraim gave it away. <laughs> I think we should no, go. No, it was my fault, man. But it did figure out a clever way to get out of the situation. Um, and I guess where where I am is, uh, I I definitely am enjoying the 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 side stuff of like uh, building up uh, influence and the intrigue. Um, but I, I'm sort of I'm also uh, really kind of hankering for. Mm -hmm. Doing some of what D and D is good at, which is, you know, going out and killing stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, and that was—I mean, we hadn't played for a while, so I wanted to get you guys back in the groove of role playing, and then mm. next group. But you know, things happen. People—I don't want to make anybody feel like, eh, you know, because of this, it's—it's it's a matter of, uh, you know, I want everybody to be there. When I move yes. you to that step, yes. you know, makes sense. Because I do have yeah. the next dungeon ready, and I was okay. going to introduce this today. But don't call it. Don't yep. call it a dungeon because it'll make Joe sad. Yeah. <laughs> we can call it um the experience. Well, it's the not appropriate. A crypt. The okay, it's a crypt. There we go. The, the, yeah, the catacomb. The that's fine. That's okay. That's Use fine. your thesaurus. <laughs> yeah. Sub. It's a subterranean semi-domain. Yeah. And it's weird because honestly, if we were to do like a, it's like part of it also is the tropes. Like if we were to do a dungeon crawl in a giant mansion because we're trying to uncover some kind of secret information in order to to mix up the balance of power in Waterdeep, yeah. I I make I love that idea. Mm -hmm. Scooby Doo. So, well, here's my opinion. We got an episode and a half before Christmas. We're gonna have one hell of a wedding. Use it as a staging area <laughs> for the next part of the adventure. Well, or not necessarily. Will, either way, here. Things things have changed. Yes. Okay, we should get to it then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That wedding yeah. will never happen. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, right, so I'll I'll take you guys' lead wherever you want to go from there. I mean, I'm just like... Awesome. Um, but the... The next part, like what you do now, makes it easier for me to move you on to the next step. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, I'm not trying to push you that way. I just want it to go naturally. Like, oh, please, yes. God, Ray, Ray rolled us. Please. Roll us. <laughs> <laughs> we need a Ray roll. Well, I want to will... a spot where it's okay. Why are you such a good GM and letting us do our own choices? We <laughs> <laughs> We're not responsible, apparently, enough to make our own decisions. But see, I don't feel like, yeah, yeah. I, no, I'm you're not way that, and people hate me for it. I don't <laughs> want to do that. You are a much better GM than me because Jason's like, yeah, fuck it. Railroad it all. We're all good. <laughs> Here's a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> the story right now is so good. Like, it's like, it feels like a, a horrible mistrust because, you know, not to, I'm trying not to beat up on Jason, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> things happen where three people are here and they tell me the DM and I'm like, okay, I can't yeah. really go anywhere. Yeah, it's not your fault. No. I, I told you at the beginning, it's not <laughs> your fault. It's all ours. Okay, so. <laughs> Although I do want to see the retrospective on Efren's experience at the hunting lodge. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's actually been the reason I, you know, I'm really looking forward it to it. It was a nice day out. Yeah. Uh, what awesome. did you guys do? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know. Uh, so Efren, when you come back to the Salty Munch. Yes. You He's just gotta... finished killing some bears, some pigs, yeah. some deer. You had a wonderful time with some ant parts stuff. She yeah. even gave you, as a gift for friendship, a cloak of displacement Ooh. from the from the displacer beast. So you got this nice, beautiful purple cloak with the displacer beast's 
tentacles oh. hanging off the side. I will have to look up the stats for that. But yeah, that is that is. And um, I need to ask during our outing, she didn't seem like a crazy rage monster. It seemed like this kind of like a kind of like a tough, powerful gal, right? No, she yeah she she yeah. was definitely like for justice and she she wanted adventure and she was thirsting for it. Yeah, but like she was cool and like. Like we're in the forest, and she had a lot of respect for the animals. She did, like she could have probably went and killed a lot of animals, but she went and found. Uh, you also met her aunt. Her name is Raven Hearthstone, hmm. and she, the ranger who took you to places that you probably never seen. You met a druid's grove, hung out with them, followers of Maliki. It was a great time. Huh. And then Efren returns to Gotham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, well, my time has been really great and sunny. How you been? Well, <laughs> glad you asked. <laughs> my parents are dead. Uh, I killed three people. <laughs> <laughs> we had to melt someone's face off. <laughs> yeah. So. Amazing. I'm gonna say it's our. You walk in and see, uh, just to fast forward a little bit, uh, Marie, you, um, the two drow's names are Lillian and Layla. All right, I'm going to write that down. And uh, uh, despite popular belief, they do sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> they do tell you... Um, that they will, you know, protect you. Mm. Uh, uh, but um, like they said, the Hearthstone family, Mina knows. Mina actually, the real Mina, actually adventured with Samantha's grandfather. Ah. But she's an elf. She lives that long. She's so, what, sorry? She's a drow, so she lived that long. She lived long enough to venture with Samantha's grandfather. And Ooh, she has right. some respect for the Hearthstone family, so she doesn't want to be here when any bad stuff goes down. Hmm. I understand. Yeah. yeah. But she knows that you can handle it peacefully. I, I appreciate her faith in me. Yeah. <laughs> so, show... did, I get... huh? uh, did I get the impression from my conversation with the two Minas that... Um one or the other sides is going to hire um, the Assassin's Guild sometime after the wedding? Mm, no. Okay. Doesn't feel like... That's the reason they don't want to get involved. Doesn't feel like... The Hearthstone family... So, yeah, let me give you a little... So, to make this faster, okay? Okay. Um... They, they give you the whole spiel. The White Wolf, and I think you probably tell everybody at night or something. Before yeah, it's I, I definitely feel everybody in. So, Brad, you know this, and Chris, you know this. He sent you mm -hmm. down. Jason hasn't figured this out yet. So, what happened was, is um, Samantha's father was looking for Jason's mother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Because... He wanted to make it right. Now, sorry, just just to clear up, are we talking Jason's like Ooh, actual mother, off. adopted mother, or Lady Winter? Which mother are we talking about? <laughs> He's got a lot of mothers. Martha. Like most of her heroes. Martha. The one that's taken. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I can't. Okay. I can't hear what the GM's saying, guys. Hang on. <laughs> no, Jay He was looking for Jason's real mom. Okay. He was looking for Jason. I think you. You can hear this. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, yeah, he was looking for Jason's real mom because he was wanting to know who Jason Jason Ephraim was. Uh, Lady Winter found out about this. Okay. And um, Ephraim, um, Ephraim's mother, uh, adopted mother, Martha, is not of normal birth. So she was afraid... In Waterdeep, that he would have killed him. Mm -hmm. right? 
And so Martha made a deal with the devil, in a way, mm -hmm. kind of, sort of, maybe, and went to Lady Winter. Lady Winter already knew about this and said, and was more than happy because the Silver Rapiers have <coughs> the reputation of being pirates. Mm -hmm. If they marry into the Hearthstone family, who are paladins and who are merchants who never did pirating ever in their life, that would bring legitimacy to their claim as nobles in Khmer. To yep. solidify that. So what, I mean, Lady Winter's totally for that. So she she said, no, that's my son. I, I just had, I didn't want anyone to know who he was and let Martha raise him and didn't tell him. Which is a bull-faced lie. <coughs> Which is a bull-faced lie, but, you know, mm -hmm. she makes some sort of story like, hey, I slept around with people maybe I shouldn't have or whatever. I didn't know he was a demon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out came this half-demon creature. So, mm -hmm. anyways. Well, considering uh, mammal sex is pretty disgusting at the best of times, <laughs> I can understand this bacon. Um, so, hey, don't knock it till you try it. That's all I'm saying. Now... Samantha's father is a, is not a Heartstone. He married no. Samantha's mother, who was original Heartstone, mm -hmm. and he 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 likes money. And he saw Lady Winter as his key to getting more ships, more mercantile or trade. She's got mm -hmm. a lot of ports where he doesn't have access to because she was a pirate. She yeah. deals in the bad shit. He deals in the good shit, right? Yeah, exactly. They're looking to make a marriage of like. Make this piratey, this pirate slash merchant um, empire. That he's yeah, like, exactly. Yes, money, they money, wanted money. to join these these two empires by marriage. So, because of that, he, no one gives a shit in Waterdeep. Mm. They don't give a shit. No. <laughs> they know that every lady's slept with like 20, 30 different guys. No one can gives a damn yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> it's and a sexier fantasy realm. And he he uh he was afraid that he would never find a person to marry his daughter off mm -hmm. to make more money. And now he sees this this thing as ah, I got a chance to, to force <laughs> these people together, make so much money. Mm -hmm. And who hurts? Nobody. Ephraim gets my daughter, and I get her married off to somebody I don't care about. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> His point of view, it's perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're kind of at right now. He's, okay, yeah. He's, he's pushing to get Ephraim married. But Ephraim and Samantha do not know anything about it because they just arrived. Yeah. In Waterdeep. Now, there was a – did I hear correctly? There was a God, suggestion from I could not be Nina. listening to any of this, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all a surprise. I'm, I'm almost explain it to you. Wait, wasn't there a suggestion when I was talking with the with the Minas last time that somebody was going to have an accident after the wedding? Did I mishear that? Um. Hmm. Let me try and let me look at my notes real quick. Sorry. Yeah. Um. That does sound. Well, they not. I may have just invented they, that. But they didn't want to have an accident to happen and yeah. make it late. And what's they like hard stuff. They didn't want to get blamed for it. If an so accident Minas, happened to Samantha. Yeah. Because the Minas... Uh, the, <laughs> yeah, there's only one Mina, by the way. Okay. Just to clarify. Um, well, there's the, there's the real Mina, and then there's the one who's, as I understand it, is pretending to be Mina. <laughs> but you are, too. And I am now also pretending to be Mina. Right. There are three Minas, but there is only one actual Mina. Right. It's what from what Chris can tell you is that's the name that people give the leader of the assassin for the black wind. Everyone calls her Mina, despite yeah. whether or not you're male, female, or anything. Your name is Mina from then on, as so that everyone gets confused who Mina is. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, so, it's clever, which is the plan. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah, okay, okay, um. But um, no, the accident, yeah, because they're thinking other assassins would get involved and try to maybe thwart this happening. 
Mm -hmm. They didn't want to be pinned as people who did it. And they wanted to make it, they wanted to make it clear to me that like, if assassins start coming after you, it's not us. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And, and if they're gone, I mean, cause the Heartstones have people in high places. If they're not in town, those powerful wizards or people will be able to say that, no, these people didn't get, weren't involved because they're obviously not here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Right. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Okay. I follow the I think I follow the machinations of it. Anything you don't understand? Um anybody? No. Not for me. Okay. <laughs> I think I got it. Yeah. Hey. So, Jason, did you want a, did you want an in-character explanation as well, or are you good with that? I I I really do want to play it as if none of that is in his head when he arrives. I really, really, really do. <laughs> okay, that's Unless fine. somebody really wants to come up to me and tell me the whole machinations and stuff. And that's why, actually, I kind of unplugged in the hopes that I would actually not hear most of it. <laughs> and just have this kind of nice, big surprise. All right. So, <laughs> I'm a horrible person that way. But... That's fine. That's fine, dude. So when you show up at the Salty Winch, you see Maria sitting at meanest seat. With two drows flanking her. Oh, what kind of drows? Male, female? Female drows. Oh. Of course I'm going to go up to... It's like, oh, how are you this fine day? <laughs> Ephraim, I see... Uh, Ephraim. <laughs> I mean his accent out there. Uh, Ephraim, I see you're back in town. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I hope your trip out of the city was bracing. It was fine. Yeah. It was good. It Got was a chance nice. to uh, get back to nature? <laughs> well, never been much for nature, but it, oh. was a, it, was, it was a good trip. We had a mighty battle with a bear. It was good. It was good. <laughs> well, I hope you left some of the bear for, you know, for other people. Um, I don't know. It was just the two of us out there, so I don't know what you're implying. Oh, I'm sorry. There's an old joke among uh, among my family. Some days you get the bear, some days the bear gets you. Oh, yeah, no, that was not going to happen with her out there with me. Yeah, no, true enough. Yeah. Samantha, how uh, is she doing? I, I would, if I was there, I'd love to ask the que question. And I'm not sure that Smoke would do so, but maybe um, <laughs> ask the question, but did you get bear? <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be impolite and nasty. <laughs> 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 you certainly want to, wouldn't want to run around with bare feet. No, definitely not. That would be. <laughs> Listen, uh, we need to have a conversation. A few of them, actually. Uh, what time of day is it? It's probably like noon. Uh, well, I think first thing I can do is introduce you to uh, uh, our new uh, dock keeper. I think oh. you'll uh, I think you'll find him very interesting. I turn to uh the the two drow. I turn to I turn to um Layla mm -hmm. and I say uh Lillian, I need you to go find Stingfish for me, all right? She nods. Of course Mina. Whoa. Did you hire these? Why are they so loyal to you? She, she bows and then walks away. What? Why are they? Uh, like, I kind of like this, like, not even like, actually, I shouldn't be whispering. It's Ephraim. <laughs> why? why are, <laughs> whoa. So did we hire them? Is this what you use have, with your extra money or? A few things have happened while you've been gone. Okay. Uh, we'll have to discuss it. And then I turn to, um, to uh, Lillian and I say, Lilayla, uh, so what do I need Lelayla to do? Lelayla, um, I'm going to need some writing materials later on in the day. Could I get you to uh, pick up several sheets of vellum and uh, some ink and paper and leave them in my room? She opens up a bag and pulls it out. Excellent. You Thank want you. it in your room? Yes, please. So you're going to come with me? No, no. I, 
I don't think I'll need to give you the key to my room, will I? I think you'll be able to get your way in there on your own. She looks at you, nods, and then walks away. Huh. Ephraim. Well, let's yeah, go. that was, um, huh. So, huh, okay. So what are we doing? Uh, we're heading down to the docks. Okay, cool. Let's go to the docks. Ooh, are we uh, going sailing? Uh, probably not. At least oh. not. At least not until earlier today. At least, at least okay. not until later. Okay. Uh, I go to Smoke's office and hopefully uh, Stingfish meets us there. Yeah, I have my usual. Basically, I'm trying to get my first decent night's sleep since I got into the city. This job <laughs> with this has not is enough already. I'm Batman. I don't need sleep. <laughs> I come in. I'm not oh. exactly in the best of moods, which will be explained later. And and then along the way, I get some um, some of the local uh, coffee equivalent for smoke and stingfish because I know they're both going to want some. Mm hmm. Yes, it's a Mastika. Well, I don't know. Pick some random country in the middle of the realms that actually coffee could come from. Mm. Mastika is actually a pretty good one, actually, for that. Mastika blend. There we are. Ha -ha. Mastika blend. <laughs> I get the stuff that's flavored with vanilla because I, I I'm guessing the the vanilla scent is one that you'll probably like. Okay, mm. well, definitely does. So smoke, where do they find you? Do they find you at the at the booth selling the wares? Are you in your office doing paperwork? Or are you like pointing? Go this way. Go that way. Go this way. Go that way. Uh, I I I think yeah he he's kind of circulating around the the business, making keeping an eye on everything. Trying right. to. All right. That's my armor. Um, you see, um, Marie, Stingfish, and uh, Ephraim with this beautiful purple coat. Oh, now. Ooh. Oh, yes. and I'll, yeah, and uh, when when I see the rest of you, I'll, I'll turn and say, "Oh, Ephraim, the man of the hour." How was your trip? Good, good. Renewing. Good for the spirit. You should try it one day. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I believe you were telling me how uh, refreshing it was when you were, were taking those uh, dips into that pond you found. Yes, indeed. It was uh, quite deep and cold, but that was good for the soul. I, oh. In the middle of telling that, that <laughs> double entendre, I realized there's two lizard people here who aren't going to get it. And the Zephyrin was also not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> so I just told that joke for myself. Oh. So I'm double entendre going nowhere. <laughs> uh, uh, that's too good. Um, yeah. I, the... I, I just look like a little bit confused, but I'm also like, I, I you know, I mostly get it, but then it, something didn't work out there. That that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Whatever, yeah. man. So, I'm still working on my coffee. Hmm. I brought you one as well, Smoke. Uh, I believe you like the uh, the dark blend. Do I have that? Oh, that will do just just nicely. Thank you. I was hoping we could have a chat in your office. Do you have a few minutes? Oh, by all means. Hmm. I remember what happened last time we had a chat in your office. Yeah, well, <laughs> hopefully this time there will be less shit to clean up. Uh, fine. Ooh. <laughs> that. All right. I forgot about that. As we as we um as we head into the office, I, I kind of pull Stingfish aside for a second. I need you to make sure you're getting sleep. I tried that. Somebody woke me up. <sighs> We're going to find a way to, to fix that. Okay. Yeah, probably a good idea at this point. Yeah. I need you at 100%. Yeah. Bad things are going to happen. That's fine. <sighs> We're going to do what we can to make them as... Less bad as we can. Okay. Okay, yes. I closed the door because that's what I did last time. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's in the room. I lie, I lay against the door. I do a quick sweep just to be on the safe side because you never know when there's a drow listing on the door. 
Everyone okay. got so emo. What and then suddenly, <laughs> okay, I'm slumped on the chair and realize I'm about the same size as the gnome. So basically, I've hopped up on the the work chair and I'm basically having a, trying to have a, like this. I'm kind of semi snoozy. Okay. Uh, not there, but you know, I'm pretty sure I'm like a quilt spring. Basically, if you try to respond, I got to be careful, but you could definitely tell I had a long night. Yeah. Dude, you gotta look after yourself, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, just gotta look after yourself. We're just doing it. We're, we're and, working on it, after. Yeah, unfortunately, looking after others seems to be a full time, 24 hour job. No. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm not sure that I heard about this. What happened? Well, let's just say you won't have to worry about your mess again. Have you been cleaning up those uh, those black peacocks? Something like that. Black flamingos? Yeah. Oh, them. Uh, I, I hadn't flamingos. thought they would be much of an issue, but uh, well, well, I, I suppose there, there's uh, oh, uh, always people who who uh, don't appreciate competition, and that I can understand. <laughs> oh, so where should we start, fellas? We kind of have to fill a lot, Ephraim in on a lot here. Uh, how about we just cut right to the chase, Ephraim? Mm -hmm. Duel or or marriage? Cut it the crap and let's get it over with. Wow, Wait, you're this... so you're, you're so bored. <laughs> like, there's so many things oh. to think about. You yeah. know, well, does it, there, does there, it... there's like, okay, so I've never gotten married before. <laughs> okay. To um. Be fair. Yeah. So. There, there, there's questions. So, do I ask her? Do I ask the father? I... Well, in this well, case, look... the father's pretty much pretty much stated uh, that uh, the answer is going to be yes. So you could maybe skip yes. that part. He's rather insistent. Mm -hmm. mm. I wonder how big this is going to get. I don't really yeah. want anything too big. Well. How do you think that she'll uh, respond to your proposal? Oh, I think she'll probably say yes. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. Uh, yeah I, 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 think, I think we might be a good match for each other. Well, I gotta say, so far. Oh she shit! Seems... I know, I know who I have to talk to though. Shit. Oh. There's one person who's the most important to talk about this shit. Yeah. Yeah, I sure. don't How think I even said you? anything to her yet. I better go talk to mom about this. Yeah. I'll oh, come shoot. with you when you do. Someone's got to lighten the bar. Ah, I think all right. There, there's, there's a problem. Yes. There's a problem with that. This what? fellow who wants you to marry your daughter, his daughter, mm -hmm. he thinks Lady Winter's your mother. Your birth mother. How did this happen? That's what she told him. Oh dear. Well, it was if she didn't tell. I mean that that makes you partial nobility, at least in his eyes. The problem is if he hadn't told you that, you would just be peasant class, in which case he would just probably kill you. Well, that doesn't seem very sporting, does it? No. Well, <laughs> not so much. You're right. He'd never see me coming. Neither would dueling him. Apparently, the man's uh, quite a legend in the area. Well, yeah, no, I, I don't think I quite have killed enough bears to deal with him. No, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> hmm. There's another wrinkle to this that you need to know about. Yes, sir. Uh, one of the, well, there's two reasons Lady Winter done, did this. Apparently, the rumor, and I don't know if this is true or not, but the rumor is that your mother talked to her. So your mother might already know that this is possibly in the offering. Okay, so I think we should just go be honest with mom and ask her what is up. Well, I, I definitely think we should talk to her about that. The other thing you need to be aware of is mm -hmm. that if you complete this ceremony, you on some level become nobility, which means yes. you are now an assassination target. And now, that's different than everyday how with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
with us, <laughs> you're more likely. Efren just suddenly had the moment of clarity in his life. <laughs> <laughs> with us, you're more likely to be armed, and they're coming at you when you can see them. With them, it might be in your sleep. Oh, well, that's no good. Again. Mm. Then again, if, if you uh, were to uh, not. Uh, complete the uh, so the, what's the marriage what? then uh you would be targeted by uh, uh the family know, by the yes. family yes yes well uh, now specifically one member of the family <clears throat> what if we just ran away would I... they come chase us down across the land or there's a good chance we that... don't have to stay in town you know I, I look around the office, frowning as, as much as I can, given... Uh, <laughs> I stop! <laughs> <laughs> um, some of us have put down roots. Mm. Mm. And for sure, there's, a, there's, there's things here that I'd like to accomplish, too. But running away, I, I mean, we definitely should not cross that out as, a, as an option, if need be. Honestly, I'm done with this town. Ooh. Yeah, I get that. What did happen last night? I mean, I know the general picture, and there there is some blood involved, and that's, you know, unpleasant, but that that could happen anywhere, right? Yeah. See, this is why yeah. I'm thinking the marriage is okay, because as much as I love you guys, I think an, uh, some no noble money would definitely help, you know, like secure the sleeping place kind of thing. That is that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're a good man, Efren. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, let's not lie, there's definitely going to be a benefit of, with us being friends with a noble. Hmm. Plus, I really like her. Mm. So, Ooh. the question becomes, if I get married and they find out, I don't know. That you, is another... Did, well, am I really that lower class? Come on. <laughs> hey, I'm good. If you have any doubts, just say it's on your demon side. Oh, no, that's not good. That doesn't go over <laughs> good with the ladies. I don't know. No, no. It depends no, on the okay. ladies. It's nay. Ixnay on the <laughs> Okay. I don't know. Fair how... enough. Yeah. Okay. I just thought there was some more advanced form of mammal or some sort. No, not even. <laughs> well, um, I mean, that's that's probably true. But they always smell like brimstone. That's that's. Yeah. That's not. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I sm I smell like lilac, so it's all good. <laughs> well, you do smell nicer than most people around here. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I shoot Stingfish a dirty look. <laughs> uh, hey, that one guy, man. My nose still hasn't recovered. Mm. As you guys are talking, you hear a knock at the door. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I got my sword. Right, you see my sword kind of go to half of Jason. Just oh, you know. this, this hold your horses. I'll, I'll go answer the door. Hello. You know, we, all, we all prep weapons, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's like that, standard procedure. Well, again, you, you, you can see my character has become a little, well, what's the word? Paranoid! Again, they this this saddle down, it's all good. Okay. But, uh, yeah, actually, when the door opens, my I, I have my hands uh, empty and in plain sight. <laughs> <laughs> when the door opens, you That's see... That's called uh, the wizard's greetings. A uh, butler bowed to you, and he's like... Uh, oh, hello. Uh, Lady Winter wishes to speak to all of you. Oh, good. Oh. Joy oh, is a dice. Excellent. Uh, time, place, or is it like a crystal ball or something? I think we need to go. Okay, well. Let's follow, it's, let's it's follow the butler. I curse under my breath, taking the name of several gods in vain. Hey. Just, just the ones that are not likely to take it personally. Yeah, don't, don't you just. just in you any case, best know. not to keep her waiting. Yeah. yeah. Not, and you never know. Uh, okay. On, Hang on, hang on, hang on. Got to do it. Knock on wood. Tiamor, yeah. bless us with something awesome. Come on, let's go. 
Okay, you see me do a I rev. I will balance this all out by being the internal optimist for everybody, goddammit. <laughs> okay. And I, of uh, course, say my usual phrase, can I get at least four hours? You can sleep on my back. It's fine. <sighs> you know? Uh, thumb. It'll take about an hour to get there, so yeah. Okay. Okay. You do see something that you haven't seen me see you do really properly since the last thing. I'm asleep on Efren. That's all okay. good. He takes you outside to this beautiful black looking carriage, but there's no horses attached to it. It's just this this carriage. Hmm. He opens the door. We step inside. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's go. Oh, oh, actually I'm um I don't suppose there's any tells when he told us that it was Lady Winter. Like, uh, is there any indication that, it, that this might be a setup? Yeah, I'm I'm definitely taking a look around with, like, perception. Oh, my God. Hey, roll it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, somebody's going to have to wake up Stingfish in order to have him do anything. Because he's beat. I will let him sleep. It's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> for, I don't see anything. For someone who's lying, doing a pretty good job of it because the coach has got Lady Winter's sigil all over it, and you you think you recognize him from back in Waterdeep, the guy okay. that answered the door. Um, but he seems a little grayer than before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Unless Lady Winter herself wants us dead, I, I, I think we're good. So, no. Yeah, we're fine. If she wants, if she wants us, if she wants us dead, having one last ride in a nice coach is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Ephraim, I've I have missed you. I am glad. It was a good day out. I'm going to. Uh, he rings the bell, and then all of a sudden you see this like smoke appear around the. The coach, and you hear this <laughs> laugh, like a scary laugh coming from the front of the coach as you see this headless driver appear, and like four <laughs> nightmares appear on the coach, and it just like takes off off the ground into the sky. Okay, TPK. TPK, <laughs> <laughs> let's make a new campaign. All right, everybody. Solve <laughs> okay. the problem. No more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and of course, my last words are Couldn't I have gotten at least five minutes Without you guys messing up <laughs> <laughs> It totally was not our fault So yeah, it just goes up in the sky So what, what's your thought of this Marine when this happens? Like, Smoke, are you like going like Ah, get me out of here <laughs> Uh Perva Oh Oh my <laughs> oh my! <laughs> okay. I am. Um, well, uh, this is definitely not okay. So at this point, I definitely wake up, uh, Stinkfish. Oh I, no! I I woke up when the Briar Brimstone went and said, "I'm awake." Oh, good lord, guys! All right, everybody. Every. All right, everyone, breathe. Well, I don't know if I have a positive spin on this. <laughs> Stinkfish. Uh, can I get you to check the inside of the cage? Make sure there's no traps. Uh, nothing that's going to kill. I think it's a little late now, but I'll take a look. <laughs> the guy's still sitting there, by the way. Um, yeah. Oh, the, um, wait, sorry, the butler's in with us? Yeah. I don't have oh, a well, then, man. Then, I, haven't, then, I haven't finished my coffee It's yet. just a ghostly apparition running the carriage. You know, that's going to be weird. Ah, uh, right. okay. <laughs> okay. So it's not, okay, it's so not sorry. real. Retcon. Yeah. I do need to retcon that and, like, all right, everyone, calm down. Calm down. We'll be fine. We, uh, are, really, well, we are visiting Efren's relatives, after all, apparently. Yeah, no, yeah. not mine. It looks like a, yeah, the driver is a headless apparition, and there's four nightmares pushing, pulling the cart. It's How do you guys do this? <laughs> I, I go to sleep for five minutes, and you somehow end up in hell. Literally. Well, this isn't the first time. Wait, and what? you do have a tendency to fall asleep at the worst stuff. You really need to work on that. Dude, 
Don't be and... mean to him. We're going to die. Be nice to him. <laughs> you do have to admit, this is the first time that we've roped you into uh, being uh, absconded with by nightmares. And, and some of us can glide away. Others <laughs> cannot. I look down. Yeah, no, I don't think I can survive that fall. <laughs> nope. I put my I put my hand on Stingfish's shoulder. It'll be up to you to tell our tale, friend. Tell it <laughs> and by God, no hurdy gurdy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, and I will say okay. Oh. And then I and then I take ten minutes to describe to him what a hurdy gurdy is. That's disgusting. <laughs> it act, the sound is actually quite impressive especially no. when it's swept by talented fingers such as mine unfortunately I don't have one with me I do have my I fiddle though I don't actually know that's a good point I, I break out my fiddle and start playing right. might as well. yeah it, true to his word it takes about maybe like half an hour 45 minutes it seems like a slow ride up it seems like you're just like going up in the sky and now you see where you guys are heading to. You see this this ship, dock, um, the Waterdeep uh, Sky Docks are further away from Waterdeep. Um, the Sky Docks are just a, about maybe two, three miles away from Waterdeep, so no one can bomb Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. And also the anti-magic barrier kind of <laughs> fucks up with their ships. <laughs> kind of one yeah, of I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you see this massive beautiful black sky ship just uh rows of cannons and uh looks like ballistas on the side and you see the like a, a, a mermaid holding a globe on the on the front and you see the emblem of lady winter on the ship just this gorgeous ship as you come around oh, i so... see there is nothing to worry about we're going up in the world this is a little different than um, than where we were at when we joined, for sure. Mm, for sure. Well, it was docked at that time. For all we know, it's the same ship. Mm, that's true. I, I, I shake my head and repeat a phrase, a, a, an old phrase in Gnomish that basically translates into um, uh, big pick, no gold. <laughs> big pick, no gold. <laughs> big pick, no gold. Yeah. It's the fantasy equivalent of big hat, no cattle. So yeah, you land on the dock on the dock because it has no masts. It's, it's mm -hmm. floating magically. You know, there's like some there's like a uh, balloon up top uh, that directs it. Um, and it you is see, impressive. I'll give him that. You hmm. see Lady Winter waiting for you as you depart, and you see Ephraim's mother, mm -hmm. Stina Mesa, uh, standing next to her. Well, that's. Well, that is going on. Ephraim? Yes, sir. I need you to yes, make me a promise right now. Yeah. You don't draw steel until I tell you to, all right? Mm -hmm. No matter what happens, you don't draw Wait, steel. Mom, mom, my mom is well done up, or she being held up? Uh, no, she... she... Does it look like she's being like like kind of restrained, or does it look like she's actually just dressed in finery beside her kind of thing? She's dressed in finery. Oh okay, well, good because but, that but got really looks... dark there. I uh, in Efron's mind, he's just assuming if Mom was in trouble, the airship would be partially on fire by now. Yeah, yeah <laughs> also true. <laughs> it's fine, and I'll it's be blunt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll give you a clue. Efron's the good cop in this scenario. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she she approaches you and gives you a hug. He's like, hey, Mom, What are you doing up here? And then she proceeds to like smack she goes me. to try to smack you across the face like <laughs> <laughs> Oh and I'll uh, uh bow to Lady Winter uh, Milady. If your intent was to impress us, I must admit, you have succeeded. Well, we're all going to go back down together. Just to be clear, this is my 
maid who's taking care of you in my stead. Wait, mm. what? To be clear. What? Uh, this Crystal. is the story we're going with, just to be clear. Oh. She's my maid. That's why she's dressed like this. This was her reasoning. Now, let me make this clear. I found out from information that you may have been looked at by the Hearthstone family. Now, well, when, when you say looked at, offered marriage with the daughter, yes. Like Efron, Efron has yes. no bounds on like like <laughs> being honest with this. Yeah. Your family lineage well. was in question, mm -hmm. and they paid us money to find out who you were, and if wow. you were not a legitimate noble to end your life. Mm. I brought this information to your mother, so, and uh, we made an agreement. She signs. So I'm. So, so you're my mom for today. Awesome. No. So the the question you're is. Mama for the rest of your life. Okay, sounds this good. This is the point where this sounds changes. Good. Okay, so <laughs> it has always been so. It is. <laughs> Efron is is looking a little confused. He looks at mom. He's like, at the real mom or his other mom. Oh my god! There's <laughs> this. You have three this moms. Sudden, this sudden, this weird thing. Okay, I, have, I think he just chose the title of the show. That's confusing. Efron has. Winter was just embarrassed about you being a typhoid and didn't know how it would look in high society, so she let me raise you. Are you okay That's with the story this? we're going with. Are you okay with this? This is what I want to know. Is this okay with you? Not really, but I don't want my baby to die. Oh, I know, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> now there's a big so cry. Time, my sweet love. And she's just starts bawling on your shoulder. Oh, my God. That friend starts crying, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually smile and nod. I'm like, yep. <laughs> absolutely that's right that 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 absolutely is right to me uh, okay. so, yes this is all very touching oh you you dark-hearted soul i see you have a little crocodile here in your eye <laughs> nah it's just the wind getting in my eyes <laughs> i have allergies <laughs> feelings <laughs> I killed I, I, 20 I, I, the last night. I have problems, <laughs> and, and I refuse to talk about it. I have psychological issues. <laughs> well, I, I realize not that not everybody just lays an egg and walks away, but really, oh, yeah, there's only so much you can get hatching about it. Yeah, it'd probably be a lot better if we did. It'd probably be a lot better if we did. Oh man. So I really did hook up with no, no. I'm not blinging the girl on this. It's the father's problem, not ours. <laughs> yes. You know how old is he, anyways? Well, dear old, nice. dear, dear dear old stepdad. He's uh in his forties. Hmm. Let's see. D and D. Ah, oh, we only have to wait twenty years and he'll die. It's fine. <laughs> It'll Jeez, be okay. Less. You never know. Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> Lady Winter nods and is like, now, of course, this is a huge benefit for everybody, because you're going to make shit tons of money, but that's besides the point. Yeah, the, 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 I mean, I understand that you have things to gain from this. Now, I'm going to be gaining maybe a wife here. Do I get a cut of all this? Because... What do you mean? Well... You you're going to be a noble now. You're going to have to have, you're going to be in charge of all this crap. I'm not going to be able, I'm not going to be around forever. I'm human. Mm. <laughs> and I have my own things to take care of. Mm. And I am not sure Samantha, the woman that you're going to marry, is going to let you have complete control of things. Yeah. Mm. I, 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 I kind of do the gesture of like, look at me. It's like, yeah. I don't have a head for money. Come on. <laughs> uh, well, of Samantha, don't worry. Your no, friends have your back. No, no, no. 
<laughs> oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> like, I want some of that money! No, I'm not Make asking for a people. cut, necessarily. Just, I, I, I want you to know, Efren, that if at any time you're not sure what to say, I'll be there. Mm, yes, I'll, I'll well keep that in, in your mind. ear. All the time. <laughs> that uh, that brings up a very important, pertinent question. Mm -hmm. Has anybody run this grand, masterful plan by the young lady Hearthstone? That's the next problem. Yeah, I sense that might pin an impasse because of these affiliations at this point. Mm. Well, it's yeah. not going to be pretty once they finally find out the quote-unquote truth. What? Uh, <laughs> They're not going to. That's, no, I'm not. The, <laughs> that's the yeah. idea. <laughs> Although we should have a contingency plan just in case that does happen. Now maybe later when things cool down we'll let her know the truth. Yes. But, but specifically the specifically is the young Miss Hawstone open to the uh, marriage. As I understand it she is a very willful and independent individual. Yes. I will just go ask. I'll just go ask her. It's fine. It's all good. Why? I. He she says. She points over, and your mom pulls out a a, a ring box. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, mom. See, this is what I was asking them. If there's something after I should do, I knew I was forgetting a step. Oh, you're so and, good. Uh, she opens it up, and you see this gorgeous ring. Like, and um, I think smoke and. Uh, the three people that were in that room uh, deciding which ring was what. Remember that? I, I do, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. You recognize that ring as like being in a special spot. It's like, and you just, it was just, just gorgeous looking ring. And, and uh, it was on, it was on Lady Winter's right finger. It's mm. massive, but it was on it. Yeah, anyways, she, it, you know, she's not wearing it anymore and it's in the box. And she's like, you can give this to her. Okay, so how much does this put me in debt to you? She looks at you. See the ship? Uh huh. I could buy three of those sh these ships with that man. That that's not that that's <laughs> that's a fine statement. So does this mean we're free and clear? Or is this a gift? We're good. She looks at you. We're good. I'm sorry. These guys are rubbing off on me. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We're good. Uh, she nods and is like, huh. I thought you were a complete idiot. <laughs> 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 we'll work out details when she get married. Uh, of course, <laughs> when you have enough money to buy your own ring. This is part of the quarry. Well, I would have been okay going to buy a ring. I do have some money put away, you know. Yes. Okay, um, you see me. Yeah. Stick with this one, I think. Okay. As, as I probably would have ended up in some it's, fucking... It certainly could do I probably would have ended up in some bargain shop on the... I <laughs> 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 a brass knuckle on the docks. <laughs> there you go. Here's some brass knuckles. Let's get married. Actually, that sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> so he Let's comes have to gain it. some brass knuckles. We will get married. Well, I think the best course of action now is to go to my house in the castle uh, all of you are invited, of course, and we'll wait and see. We'll, so, so is there a plan? Should I just go, like, pop the question? Or do I go ask the dad first? None of these guys knew which way I should go. I just want to <laughs> marry. And well, go. obviously, you're going to tell them that you will make right and say that you will marry his daughter and then go ask the daughter. If she okay. refuses you, okay. he has no right to challenge you to. And then everything is okay. Ah, well, see, not it's, everything. Well, not everything, but you it's, get it. It's all rainbows and unicorns. It's fine. Yes, quite. Sounds good. Unless um, somebody else wanted the Hearthstone fortune and you are now in their way. 
Yeah. We all give. We all. I think we all like. We all look, look, look at smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Oh, oh, <laughs> perish the thought. <laughs> um, but perish might be the right word. <laughs> Listen, uh, before we do that, um, I'm thinking the four of us should. There's another step we have to take here. Um, if I know the lady Hearthstone well. So, would it be all right if we met you in the castle ward a little bit later? Of course. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Coachman, take me back down. Thank you. I think the docks would be a good place to start. Mm-hmm. Uh, Milady, a uh, great pleasure as always. Yes. No. <laughs> that came out slimy. <laughs> <laughs> the more, the Just more. Bra- I'm sorry. The oh, more no. Brad. Uh, the more Deborah, Brad oh. I smoke. The more she, here finds she. She poses yeah. the 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 ring and is about ready to hand it to Ephraim, but then she looks at Chris and then hands it to you, Chris. Oh, <laughs> 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 <Proud. laughs> safekeeping, baby. Safekeeping. <laughs> Why? Uh, I hate being the responsible one. Because you're the one who has a dexterity score of higher than 11 and a wisdom <laughs> score higher than 10. Okay. okay. I'm going to hide it on myself until the time is needed. All right. Because I don't want to take any chances. Mm. Plus, I'm, yeah. Okay. I, I give uh, Stingfish a, a um, empathetic pat on the shoulder like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to being the responsible one. And, uh, and, and, uh, Smoke doesn't no say smoke. anything more, but he has a thoughtful look. Five feet, Smoke. Five feet. <laughs> 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 you not only have to what? So, okay, I see where you're at here, Joe. Now we're going to have PvP going, huh? Now, huh? <laughs> Everybody's going to jump Chris for the ring. Get him! <laughs> Oh, it's not the one ring for Christ's sake! It's not. The one ring. I'm gonna oh go hide God. the sewers, but I think it might be a step up. Uh, we <laughs> will be that's, fine. That's, that's one of the five rings they made for the gnomes. Damn it! Vulcan <laughs> keeps cutting them out of the book. Yeah. <laughs> gnome lives matter, man. Obviously, Tom uh, Bombadil was a gnome. Yes. <laughs> uh, on that note. I think this is a good place to do a five-minute break, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, okay. Oh, my God. I should uh, be ready for that. Uh, yes. There we go. Brad, how dare you? I know, I know. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, so uh, we will be back shortly. Please uh, stick around or click on the second half.